Okay, well, um, let's just get it lined up here. We had a question from Josh in the Q&A. When you're doing the uh, formula for the um, plasma speed of light, and so he asked, would you please write the full formula of the plasma speed of light in space? There is no formula. It's understanding the parameters and parts of the structure which you have to consider. My biggest problem is, I don't like formulas. I find them limitation to the brain of a lot of people. Once they have it, they don't think anymore. If you go back, when you do the atomic mass, whatever you do. If you go back, this is what we're discussing with the scientists the other day. Energy, with whatever you do. You have to understand, everything is based on gravitational magnetic field of a given condition in transition or in respect to a given point, in a space or time. But the reality is the time does not exist in the space. So, the only thing you can consider is the transmutation from one state of energy to the other. So, if you do that, <coughs> and you consider the totality, you find the weight and the energy inequality will create the biggest dilemma for man. Because he doesn't understand if he has a mass or is he energy. And that's where the problem has sat with man for years, for centuries. Scientists who never understood the totality try to put some figures around it. Look at all the constants with all the assumptions which has been made, trying to create some sort of formulas. You have the speed of light. But we know a plasma has a speed in every spectrum, and if you are in that position of given time, of the space of given position, you are light. Yesterday I explained in a conference, some of you might have heard before, many years ago, many years ago, Caroline put a candle in front of the door on the table, and he sat me in front of it. He said, look into the light, you will see. And I said, I am the light, and the candle made nearly a kilo just flew off. Because when you understand its position, if you understand the strength you carry, you are the light at any point in the universe, in respect of the position, as the strength you carry according to the environment you are, in its interaction, in the difference in the strength, will create the light, will create a residual which manifests itself, you call it a photon of a plasma, or plasmatic photon in motion. I spoke and taught many years as a physical making of a system, making ganses. But if you want to speak in the language of the science and equations, I can teach you more about the science of the universe than you can ever imagine. But, the scientists have to take a lot of restriction out of the assumptions. The biggest mistake has been made in the world of science, up to now, has been assumptions by other scientists. They assume and assume and assume and assume, and they dismiss what it doesn't suit them to get to an equation which they want to prove is theirs, and it works. And then they make machines to prove it. How many of us are scientists, when understood the first and second law of thermodynamic, we threw it to the window. It's nothing but nonsense. But they work with it, and they make nuclear reactors, and the cooling system, and the rest of it with it. Because they, all the mistakes they make, at the end leads, all the assumptions they didn't count it, to the explosion of the nuclear reactors, and the rest of it. How much assumption has made in the world of medicine that this thing will do this and that, as they never understood the whole concept of the 
plasmatic interaction, you get what you call side effects. And all the dangers which comes with the interaction of the matter state in injections or tablets or the rest. If you understand the process, you interact with the field, not with the matter. Then you write the equation. But when you do these things, when you make, trying to put figures or words to explain the process or the measure of a process, look at the totality and remember one thing from now on. Consider one position. Any state of the plasma in the universe cannot exist if there is no interaction of that plasma with the other plasmas in its environment. Then you understand how simple the knowledge becomes. Write a formula, no problem. But now you worked in the order of magnitude, now you worked in multiple integration of four and six, now you have to work in the integrals, and God knows what, of many, many. Because up to now, in all the calculations of the scientists up to now, we considered this is the only thing, and that's why we made all the mistakes. Now we have to consider this exists and has a position because of this, because of this, because of this, and this, and many others. I bring you something which is here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you go down to the bottom of this? On your screen, you can see the spaceship. It has no physicality. When I see this here in this lab, so many times I tell myself, when are they going to understand? You can have this physicality anywhere in the universe, as long as you have a gradient potential difference between the environment outside and environment inside, that inside can keep to its existence irrespective of what is outside, but you can make a barrier that the both can coexist without one destroying the other. Does man need all this nonsense? In so many ways, we do not understand. In so many ways, in confining ourselves to be able to trust something we can replicate, has become our biggest problem. And this will come in so many ways, as part of the structure. 